Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 crankshaft pulley removal tools. Now this video is a short video as I said, explain the tools I use to remove my crankshaft pulley off my XK8. Now these tools are commonly available on the internet, roughly 40 to 70 pounds. Uh, but in this case I decided to make my own tools. I was actually inspired in this case by Hugh Ivan Williams' design as he posted on the XK8 forum. Here it's just a very simple bar 12 millimeters thick to his uh, design. One end for the bolt removal and one end for the pulley removal using an M20 fastener. Uh, he, he said this worked pretty well so I thought I'd have a go myself. Now the pulley itself on the XK8 is uh, is made up of uh, two parts with a, a rubber isolator to try and reduce um, vibration. Uh, but the important things for us when we're trying to remove it is the fact that there are two M8 tapped holes which you can use to uh, lock the pulley in position and pull the pulley off the crankshaft. Now these two M8 holes are 75 millimeters away from each other, or 75 millimeters pitch. Uh, and there's actually a dished portion at the front of the crankshaft pulley, as you see it. And this is 26 millimeters deep, and roughly 90 millimeters in diameter. Now, for those guys who've got an XKR, the pulley is slightly different. In that obviously you've got the uh, the belt for the supercharger on the front. As you can see in the bottom left, but basically, the, I believe the holes are still in the same pitch, just the depth is increased. Okay, so this is the basic uh, assembly you've got. There is um, an M16 bolt which you can use a 24 millimeter socket to remove. It's 43 millimeters long, and this is Loctited on to extremely high torque. Uh, the actual crankshaft itself, when you design the pusher tools or puller tools, is a 37 millimeter diameter shaft. There is a small counterbore in the front, about 10 millimeters deep. Now, the start of this counterbore is 22.5 millimeter diameter, and the overall tap length is roughly 50 millimeters deep, for reference. Okay, so these are the tools I ended up designing to, to take my crankshaft pulley off. You can see the lever here at the top with the spacers, and this is the very simple pulley mechanism with a centralizing spigot. Uh, the design uh, uh, shown here, if anybody wants to use the same idea. I find uh, in the Hughes design, the lever was uh, one millimeter, uh, sorry, a thousand millimeters long or one meter long which I would have thought needed two people, one person to hold the lever for the crankshaft pulley to be uh, locked in position, and one guy on the the bar with the, the, the trying to undo the nut. In my case, I do a lot of my work uh, alone, so I, I chose a shorter 500 millimeter long lever that I could uh, wedge against the inner wing, which I'll show in a moment. Now, in my case as well, instead of using a pair of holes on Hughes design, I've, I've used 16 off holes. So I, did, I wasn't tied to the actual position or rotation of, the, of those two holes on the crankshaft pulley. It gave me more flexibility. Also, the, I use a separate um, puller, which is basically another piece of bar, uh, uh, bar uh, with a 16 millimeter nut on, welded on the back. And there's a very similar uh, location pin to those you buy that we uh, turn. So when you're actually using the lever end, um, I, I have made up sort of the the space uh, in this uh, hollow section of the pulley up with the uh, spacers, which is shown on the previous design, and then bolted the pulley onto the front through the two M8 fixings as you can see here. Obviously depending on what rotation those uh, uh, tapped holes are, are, you choose a different pair of holes on your lever or on the lever I designed. 
Okay, so this is shows how I actually wedged it against the inner wing. So this is thoroughly locked. Obviously, this nut is a is a normal thread, and he actually undo anti-clockwise. And I could do that on my own using the the lever here to lock it out against the inner wing. This is the length of bar I used. It was well over, I think, it was one point three meters long. I still need to do quite a bit of oomph to get it going. Okay, so once you've got the nut off, uh, the pull I used was uh, very simple. Again, a piece of plate, sorry, with a nut welded on the back. And a 16, M16 uh, cap screw with a small conical piece turned on the end and then a centralizing spigot to lock inside, to locate inside the crankshaft itself not damaging the thread. You don't need to lock out the pulley when you're using this. The pulley will not turn as you're trying to turn turn this bolt and it'll come off relatively easily compared to actually trying to undo that nut. The actual um, travel you're going to need is roughly 28 millimeters of engagement here of the pulley onto the crankshaft itself. So this uh, fixing or the pusher you need to have at least 28 mil or in my case, 29 millimeters. And it should sort of look something like this when you're trying to do it on the car. This was it with the socket on and the, the fans removed. There's plenty of room in that case. Okay, so those are the design of the crankshaft pulley removal tools that uh, I designed uh, together with uh, Hughes Inspiration. Um, if you'd like to try it yourself, you, you, there's, uh, hopefully there's all the information here in this video that you'll need to design your own type of tools. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.